Hi, I'm Chef Nancy Stark. I teach at the Merck, and I'm going to show you how to cut up a butternut squash. This is one of the vegetables that they always have available here at the Merck almost all year. So what I always do first of all is cut off the ends of the squash and you notice how I'm putting a towel over the end of my knife so that it doesn't cut through my hand inadvertently. Now I'm going to remove the skin of it with a peeler. What I look for a lot of times is for the stem end to be really large because that's where it's full squash. It doesn't have any seeds or cavities in there and so it's an easier part to deal with. So what I like to do is separate the cavity part from the neck part. And you want to cushion the end of the knife with a, with a towel. And usually you have to whack it a few times in order to get the knife to go through there because it's big. Anytime that you have something large and round, you want to try to cut it up into something that's flat as much as possible. So at this point, you can cut the squash up into little cubes. I could throw those on a baking sheet and put some olive oil and garlic and salt and pepper on them and roast them. Or you can put them in a soup pot and make a soup out of them. I could steam them and make a puree. So you see in here I have the seeds in the cavity. So you'll want to scrape out all the seeds. Something like a soup spoon is perfect for that. Just cut it up again into sections. And then cut each section into little bite-sized cubes that are roughly the same size. Now I realize that a large squash is a lot of vegetables, so if you want to just cut the whole thing, you can put the pieces in a Ziploc bag and store them in your refrigerator for several days, and then you can have all manner of squash meals over the course of a week. And that's all there is to it. Learn more about our classes by visiting us at our website, themerk.coop.